Hey everyone, this is Kathy Sujis with Cedar Roo, and today I'm going to show you how to create these pretty colorful mushrooms with patterns and textures using the fill tool over here. The fill tool, you can just click through up here the gradients to get to the bitmap, and you can choose a pattern uh, from either your files or your photos. Really simple if you just know the process. Now, what I've done is I pulled this one um, mushroom here and I've, I've got two, two different ways I'm going to show you how to do this. One, um, I'm going to be using the fill tool and using a transparent background for the pattern. And the other one I'm going to be using an actual um, solid background. So um, that's the reason why I'm going to show you both of them as well as the pixel persona on how to make the textures because textures you go into person, uh, pixel persona and for the patterns we're going to use the fill tool. So right now the mushroom is three layers. Over here in the layer pattern you can see my three layers. So I'm just going to for this one I'm going to just oops I'm going to put get back to my mushroom palette it's the red on top, and then we have the green and the stem, and that green, and then we have the blue for underneath. Now, this one's I'm gonna be using the transparent pattern, like I said, so what you need to do is duplicate that color because you wanna have that red show through. So because the pattern that I'm going to be bringing on top of it is has a transparent background, so you, we want that red to show through. So we duplicate it here, and you come over here to the fill pattern, the fill layer, and click through the gradients. You can see the gradients going, and you come to the bitmap. Mine is in a file. It's in, the, in my Dropbox, and I go to my pattern file, Yes, I have too many files. And then here's the pattern that I've created. And you can see, you can, you can manipulate and adjust how, how big you want it. It can be big, it can be small. And this is just a seamless pattern file that I did in, actually I did the, um, you can see here, I created the flower in, Affinity and then I went ahead and just you could do it in affinity, but I took it It's just easier for me to take it into procreate to create the seamless pattern file So then you have the file or you have the uh, top of the mushroom done and now I'm going to come down here to the Bottom of the mushroom and again, I'm going to be using I'm going to use a different way of, of doing the pattern I'm going to use a, just a single motif as opposed to an actual a seamless pattern with a transparent background but I'm going to show you you can actually still do it with just a single um, motif so again we're going to duplicate and then we're going to come over here to the fill and we're going to click through the bitmaps Go to files and this time i'm going to go to a file called single affinity single motifs and you can pick anything um, but i had uh, just chosen this the little swirl and then you're gonna reduce it um, adjust the size of it and of course you can't see it really because it's black and you but you can change the color in affinity by coming over here to the layer FX, go into, click on color overlay, click on top of the color, select the color overlay, and you come up here to the palette, and we're gonna choose the gold so that you can actually see it. <laughs> so there you go, and if, if you're like, oh, that's still not, that, that, that got too big, you can just come back into your, um, fill and adjust it and come down make it smaller so there you go those are the two ways you can fill it okay so we're going to come over here to the fill tool oh we're going to select sorry we got to select our top fill tool slip click through 
to the bitmap and the Dropbox, and I did these um, Halloween coordinates for with Halloween colors here, just diagonals. You can either have it on a diagonal, you can just adjust it any way you want, make it smaller, make it bigger. Um, I think it looks kind of cool as a diagonal. So we want to do the bottom of the mushroom. So you select it, select the, uh, uh, let's put on select, select it, and go to the fill tool, click through the gradients, get to bitmap, Dropbox, to the other Halloween coordinate I did, which was a rickrack. And there you go. And again, you can adjust it any amount you can or you want. And then uh, we want to put on, we need to select the stem. Um, if you want the same green, because I know it, this is a different palette, just, um, and this isn't in my uh, mushroom palette. So just come in here to color picker and just pick that and you've got that green. So there you go. That's two different ways of, of doing pattern. Now, as far as going into Persona and doing the texture, because on this one, I have a little bit of texture. Sometimes that's all you need. You just need a little bit of texture to draw a little interest. And um, of course, you're not going to get much of it here because I have them so small. Here you have a little bit more space so you can see the texture. It's not going to be so much. So you know what? I think I'm going to do the texture on the stem on this one because I've made this pattern so small here. So let's do the texture on, on the stem. Okay, so I like to create my own pixel layer even though I have um, selected the pixel persona and it will automatically um, create a pixel layer for you, but I like to do my overlay um, so that nothing, when you draw, it's gonna stay within the stem. So we have different brushes. They have all kinds of different brushes that comes with Affinity. You can create your own brushes just like you do in um, Procreate, but you can just add some nice um, texture. And the texture, it's gonna be the stroke panel here. It's gonna be on the stroke. So just a couple of different colors, you know, just, just to give it a little interest and um they even have like these dots even though i i've played with these dots a little bit and see and just add a little bit of that you can add a little bit of something um even through the texture and the texture is going to be pixelated so just know that whenever um you are printing it out that anything that's done in the pixel persona is going to be going to have the same issue that you do in procreate it becomes a pixel a pixelated it can become pixelated if you enlarge it too much so um just know that but those are my colorful mushrooms and um just go out and have fun and enjoy pattern texture and color see you later